Hey guys, we have all of our stuff moved in and no one is here working right now. So I'm going to kind of show you around a little bit. Hopefully this is as messy as you will ever see my house. We have been working like crazy to put everything away, but there's still a lot of stuff out and our kitchen isn't completely done yet. So, you know, we have food on the table and stuff like that. So let me show you around and show you all of the things that we've done so far. Here's John. <laughs> in what will be his office. I'm not gonna go in there because I'm sure he has business cards and stuff out. Yeah. Hopefully that's as messy as that'll ever be, right? Yeah, I'm in trouble <laughs> if, uh, if uh, that's the case. Yeah. Um, let's Why don't you see. look up? Yeah, the chandelier. We, we got the chandelier changed. So we had this one, we bought it a while ago. We just couldn't figure out how to get it up there. And it is up there. It looks really good. It's a brushed nickel, so it, la it matches all of our other light fixtures. So that is in. We got the boys' rooms. Um, their rooms are the cleanest, two teenage boys. <laughs> they were excited to get their room set up there and there, and I'm not sure how much I'll show of their rooms. Um, but yeah, we still need to get Christian a new mattress. We just haven't had time to do that. So they have their old bedding on. They'll probably be fine if I show it, you know, once it's all set up and they're not in there, but yeah. Um, we brought our furniture over from our old house, the leather furniture that we had in our basement. We weren't going to bring it over because when we had this delivered, they scratched it all up because it was such a tight squeeze to get it in the basement that we thought we were just going to have to leave it there. Well, we managed to get the love seat out, um, no problem at all. And then once it was sitting here, I thought it looked kind of good in here. Um, it kind of warms it up a little bit. And I do like the lighter colors and very modern and everything but for the living room you know you kind of want to warm it up a little bit so it's cozy so then we still had the moving truck and we decided to just bring the sofa over and they got that out no problem so the orange orange pillows and stuff are from my old decor and those won't be staying but um yeah we're, we still need to figure out you know how we're gonna set everything up it's just We've been working like crazy, so at least we have somewhere to sit. Um, we got the cable and internet set up. We still want to get the TV hung above the fireplace. That bookshelf is actually going in John's office. It's not staying there. Um, got this. All of my Trader Joe's food is sitting on our table because I can't put it away quite yet. Um, we decided to put our table this way. Originally, I was thinking the other way, but you know, you got this great view, so might as well use it. Those cabinets need to go out. And they just finished my granite. Our granite, <laughs> not just mine. Oh, it looks so, so good. So this is a close up. So pretty. John and I took a long time to pick this out. We went to the, uh, what do you call that? Like a granite warehouse. Warehouse or, or something? Or Yard. And granite picked, warehouse club. Yeah. <laughs> we picked that out. The dishwasher's in. Again, we got the Frigidaire Gallery. A lot of you guys have asked which kind of appliances we got. We have the sink in. They said we have to wait 24 hours to hook up the plumbing, which is kind of a bummer, but, um, you know, totally understandable. So, um, I'll finally be able to wash all of our dishes and put them away. I did an undermount sink, so... Let me get over there. Cleaner look to it, and... Uh, yeah, and I'm so happy to have a stainless steel sink. Push the crumbs in. Yeah. We had a white sink at our old house and a white sink at the house that we had before that. And they are a pain to keep clean. So I am very happy to have a stainless steel sink. I love this. It looks so good. And this is my oven. They did say that we could hook this up and push it back if we're really careful not to um, bump the granite. 
Um, so I can hopefully cook dinner even though I'm not going to be able to wash the dishes which really is not going to be fun because I haven't cleaned the basement kitchen yet so I don't know what we'll do. Um, but yeah, this oven is awesome. It doesn't look like it right now because it has tape all over it, but it's the Frigidaire Gallery. It has, um, you know, the extra burner here and you can put a griddle on it, which will be nice. It has a rack that is hooked to the door. So it, when you open the door, the rack comes out with it. And I'll show it all when I get it hooked up, but I was really excited about that and then our refrigerator we don't have the doors on yet but we got some of our stuff in here and I'll show you the freezer it's hard to open with one hand and work a camera um, but yeah I love this that's really cool and I'll show you some fridge organization videos once I get it organized my pantry still needs to be reinforced. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before I have everything set up. Um, let's see, nothing really spectacular in the laundry room. I already showed you guys our washer and dryer. And here's another pretty sight. This is the powder room. Looks so good. Stuff on anything crazy. But um, obviously there will be drawers there. We got this off of Craigslist if you guys haven't been watching me for a while. And we got a great deal on it and love this granite. And it, um, it doesn't match perfectly with our kitchen, which is fine, but it's very similar. So I think it's beautiful. And it came with the cooler faucet and the undermount sink and everything. And then we had all of these cabinets and we're going to change out the hardware so that it all matches. We have enough to do that. Um, the, we had extra cabinets from the kitchen and we had some bathroom cabinets. So we're having them like work it all out so that it will all flow really nicely, which it does. We just need the drawers in. So they just got done putting this in and I need to get a mirror. Um, for above there. Looks so good. And that's going to go above the toilet. <laughs> we got a new toilet. Exciting stuff. Um, yeah, it's coming. The house is still a mess, but it's coming along. I did get cabinets up here. Don't mind my laundry. Huge pile. I can't do laundry yet because the dryer isn't hooked up. Um, I got these newer cabinets above the washer and dryer these were extra from the kitchen which was nice and I got some of my stuff in there so that we can um, have that so that's nice that it's hidden out of the way and I can't wait to do laundry I have that huge pile was all of the sheets and towels and blankets that we use to move stuff so we don't go through that much laundry in a couple days <laughs> Well, I have teenage boys and their clothes are big. You can show what we've done in the garage too if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, and we still have the Corvette and he even came over and didn't take us, take it. What what a great friend he is. Um, this is our room. <laughs> I meant the tornado over here. Yeah, I know, I know. It is a disaster. Um, they need to put the fireplace up and they're going to do the tile around there tomorrow. They're going to do the backsplash tile tomorrow. John and I hung these uh, curtains. I need to make sure I don't have my Michigan accent and um, not pronounce the T there. I didn't even know I did that until I started YouTube and I got about 25 comments about it. But anyway, we put our curtains up and the curtain rod. I love these. They're just, I wanted something light and flowy with um, that just looks so good. There's a big glare so you can't really see, but yeah, looks really pretty. We need to find some shades or something. We're covering up all the windows, don't worry. <laughs> um, we're making it work, but obviously we can't do that forever. So I 
think all of our windows are like a custom size because I cannot find coverings for <sighs> anything. So I think we'll probably just get like roller shades in here and have them up all the time except for when we sleep because um, this lets a lot of light in. I still need to paint my dresser um, and then get new hardware. And we kind of have a mix of bedding going on. We couldn't find our old comforter. And I'm like, I have the new comforter. Let me go grab it out of the basement. And that was at like 2 in the morning or something. So we're going to put our bed going the other way. But we still have the shoe molding that needs to go on through the entire house. So, um, you know, they're going to have to get behind everything anyway. So, and then we're going to have to paint, caulk, and then paint all of the baseboards through the entire house. So, that's going to be a while before that gets done. We still need to change out the chandelier, too. Hopefully, that'll get done today. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, somebody takes care of that. <laughs> yeah, and just snap our fingers and it'll, it'll get done. The bathroom looked like a tornado, and this is the cleaned up version. We still have all these tools and paint in here um, because we are still using them all, but John said he is going to take them downstairs, and I cleaned this up as much as I could, and it's just a process of figuring out how to organize everything and how it's going to work for you like what you need to have close and what you don't use as much and and you know do you have the right organizer and stuff like that so I'm kind of working on that we still been I still need to get some more baskets and stuff like that and I'm gonna do organization videos separately um, but I just want to make sure I have it you know in a way that works well and you know all of that so I added some accessories as well Got my DeWalt battery <laughs> charging there. and Yeah. You always need a battery charger to go with your bathroom before. <laughs> right. Um, and this succulent is actually going in my kitchen. I just put it there. And I did an Instagram picture of my makeup drawer, which made me really happy to have all of this laid out. Yay! I only kept things that I actually like and use, so... Nothing that I don't like is in there, which is nice. And I'm going to get a different container for my brushes, um, probably like silver, and I'll probably leave them there. It would be nice to put them in a drawer, but I like to have them standing up. My closet is awesome, but I'm just going to give you a quick peek of it because I'm going to my shoes are on the floor. It is so awesome, but I want to do a whole video on it, so I'm just going to do it quick. There's no respecting person to have their shoes on the floor. Quick peek. Okay, that's all. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm not quite done yet. I I was wanting to clean out the kitchen cabinets, and um, I couldn't. So one day I was over here, and I'm like, all right, I am just going to organize my closet. So I started doing that, and it's so great. It makes me happy. All right, I think that's about it. Our basement just has tons of boxes everywhere, and there are posters and stuff with my kids' full name on them and their school name. So I'm not going to go down there, but it's just a big, big um, pile of boxes, basically. And um, in the boys' rooms, we hung their blind or hung their curtain curtains <laughs> and their blinds and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, they're, they're in there. Put some blinds in our bathroom, finally. Yay. Don't have to use a door. And we have this blocked off so we can at least take a shower. But I think we're just going to get custom ones. We could not find anything the right size for in here. So we're going to have to do that. I have to just be careful for a little bit. <laughs> But I think we're going to do the automatic blinds because in order to open them or close them, you have to get up there on the jacuzzi or hot tub, whatever. Someone asked if it was really a jacuzzi. I think that's just what, I don't know if everybody in Michigan calls it that, but I know my family always says jacuzzi and it can be any brand. 
I don't think it That's where the is. brand name takes over the item like Xerox. <laughs> or Q-tips. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, guys. I'm actually going to the gym. Um, and then I'm going to get back and run some errands, get stuff that we need, and hopefully clean up my kitchen cabinet. So I'll be back. All right, guys. I'm going to give you a quick shot of the stove and the faucet. Everything's put in place, but we can't use it yet. Looks awesome. I was kind of thinking that dinner would be kind of hard <laughs> without a faucet. You're not making any dinner tonight, so just get that out of your sweet little head. <laughs> Aww. I feel bad, but what can you do if you can't run the faucet? And you need water to make pasta. And I have no idea where my cutting boards are or anything. It would probably be more trouble than it's worth. And I can't run the water in here either. So I'd be walking around the house with... Oh yeah, that would be a pain. It looks so good. It's nice here today. It's like 58 degrees. Super nice. Well guys, I'm going to call it a vlog. I just got home from the gym a little bit ago, so I really need to get a sh shower. I was going to run errands. Um, I might run to Meyer and get some like grocery household things, but I think what I'm going to do is clean out all of the cabinets and put stuff away because they said I could do that um, because they're going to be here all day tomorrow putting the backslash tile in, the fireplace tile, um, is Rob coming to do the rest of the stuff? Yep. And we're getting um, this trimmed out, baseboard around there, and stuff like that. A bunch of stuff needs to get done. So the next vlog, there should be even more stuff done and more stuff put away. Hopefully we don't have a garbage can right in the middle of our breakfast nook. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to hit the shower. Thanks for watching.